Good morning. My name is Mark, and I'm with Elva Community Engagement. At Elva, we develop SMS, smartphone, and internet applications that help organizations better address security needs um, within local communities. Within conflict mapping, we often talk about crowdsourcing. Um, a crowd can help us to better understand a conflict situation, to better address local needs. Within discussions about crowdsourcing, though, we find it's often assumed that the crowd is already there, like some kind of constant self-evident force. Um, but um, in fact, uh, and sometimes it is, in some situations, people will automatically feel the urge to, to report about something. For example, if you are an avid Twitter user um, and you are living in a town that is about to get buried in hot smoldering lava by a nearby volcano, then you might in fact feel the need to tweet about that. Um, but in a lot of situations, we find that you need to uh, recruit your crowd and actively keep it engaged. Um, like any politician or comedian, uh, you need to work your crowd in order to make it work for you. ELVA is used to monitor community safety in Kosovo and in Georgia, to uh, map cell phone coverage in the Philippines right now, uh, to monitor solid waste collections in Bangalore, and working with different peoples, working with different crowds, um, we've learned through trial and error what works and what doesn't work, and I'd like to share some of these lessons with you today. One of the first lessons that we've learned is that crowds like to see the fruits of their labor. Uh, we find that people stay engaged in projects longer if they see how their individual contribution benefits the wider community. For example, within our community safety network in Georgia, um, we, uh, if a volunteer reports about an uh, emergency, we forward that information immediately to so local security providers. And their response is in turn relayed back to the uh, volunteer reporter through SMS or smartphone notification. But we also try to provide offline feedback by making regular field visits uh, or by organizing group meetings. And we find that through providing offline as well as online feedback, people feel valued and um, uh, get a greater sense of ownership over a specific project. And this is why within Georgia, our group of volunteers in our community safety network has barely changed for over three years. A second thing that we've learned is that people like to be talked to. Um, we find that most people don't like to be seen as just a sort of a source of information. Um, so within our projects, we try not to limit ourselves to collecting data from our crowds, uh, but, uh, which is effectively one-way traffic, but to actually try to enter into a dialogue with them. And within the applications that we develop, we try to develop ways in which reporters can set up public or private conversations with project coordinators, project staff, or other participants in the network. Um, and a third thing that uh, we've uh, learned is that um, crowds like rewards. Uh, now, obviously, we are all in this for the greater good, but really, who doesn't like a present now and then? I do. Um, so, uh, providing non-material incentives works. Within each specific project, we try to provide people with tailored incentives. In Georgia, for example, um, most of the volunteer reporters within our network um, are farmers. And this is why we started providing them with um, highly accurate and localized weather reports that help them in their daily agricultural activities. Um, these kinds of practical rewards uh, further increase the uh, participation in our networks. Some other, um, some other incentives that we found uh, valued by participants are free veterinarian consultations, um, notifications about possible epidemics, uh, other agricultural information such as prices of pesticides or, or other agricultural products. So by engaging by, by giving reporters both online and offline feedback, 
uh, by engaging uh, them um, uh, in, in dialogue with project staff and other reporters and by providing non-material incentives, we try to engage our crowds, but more importantly, to keep them engaged over longer periods of time. Um, I'm afraid that was all for today. Uh, they're part, these are just examples in an expanding list of concepts and ideas that we're working on. Uh, and I'm very ex um, uh, excited to keep this um, discussion going. So if you have any questions or remarks, please do get in touch after this presentation, uh, either online or offline. Thank you very much.